As I sit here uh, recording this, uh, this is just before the Sunday I leave for Honduras, and when you are seeing this, it will be the Sunday I'm returning from Honduras. And Honduras has begun to play a large role in my life, partly because Honduras changed my life so much. I uh, had a very comfortable existence practicing law for many years, uh, having grown up in the suburbs of Lancaster and enjoyed a very comfortable life and lifestyle. I thought I was um, having a pretty good time, uh, kind of moving from one thing to another, uh, slowly working toward retirement. I joined Church of the Apostles in 2002. And that, although I didn't know it at that time, was the beginning of a, an interesting change in my life, uh, which culminated in 2010 when I went to Honduras for the first time. And that's when I learned with kind of a nice push from God that my purpose was not for me and my comfort. My purpose is to help others. And I think I have been doing that in Honduras since 2010. But I don't do that by myself. What really has made me very comfortable is the support I get from you, the members of Church of the Apostles. When I joined the church in 2002, it was because my mother had uh, moved out to Homestead. <laughs> As we uh, started to attend church here, my intent was I'll, I'll be a member here for uh, as long as mother's involved, then I'll go back to First Reformed where the Apple family uh, has been forever. Well, wasn't to be. Thanks to the members of this church and your friendliness and your support, I certainly uh, have felt the comfort and challenge of helping uh, not only those in Honduras, but trying to help those fellow members here at Church of the Apostles. My life is now one of service, and I'm comfortable with that probably have the most comfort and peace that I've ever had in my life by being able to do this, to serve others. So as I close, hopefully my flights are all on schedule and I will be home late tonight and will be able to uh, prepare for another trip coming up. <laughs>